Calvin Campbell has a mini pharmacy at home to deal with sickle cell disease. He has transfusions every three or four weeks. Day to day, the most prominent thing in my life is pain. Um, my sickle cell kicked in at six months old, and from that day till this day, I've been in pain every day, every second of every day of my life. I go to sleep in pain, I sleep in pain, and I wake up in pain. I sleep approximately two, three hours a day, and take large amounts of morphine to manage that pain on a day-to-day -day basis. But there is hope. In Bristol, the university and NHS Blood and Transplant have developed a revolutionary method of taking donated stem cells to actually grow new blood. We've literally been working on this for 10 years and we've now taken blood from donors, grown it in the laboratory, so taken the stem cells from donors, grown it up in the laboratory, and it's now gone into people's arms. And this is something we've been dreaming about for many, many years, but now we're taking that first step into the clinic with lab-grown blood. They've proved it can work with two healthy patients. They need to roll that out and then try it on patients who rely on conventional donations like this. Now, it's important to stress that this is not about the end of blood donation. They need more people to donate because the vast majority of transfusions will still rely on that. This trial is all about ultra-rare blood types.